Hi and welcome. This is Eric, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install SSIS data tools. So SSIS stands for SQL Server Integration Services, and um, this is it's an ETL tool. ETL stands for Extract, Transform, and Load Data. So this is a platform for building high-performance data integration solutions, including instructions, transformation, and load packages for data layers. Okay, and there is a nice de uh, uh, another um, definition over here, which goes by, uh, it's part of a Microsoft product, of course, used for many uh, data migration tasks, and it is basically an ETL tool, which I've already said, that is part of Microsoft Business Intelligence. And most of the times we capture data from various sources and then we have to analyze at the end of the day and uh, report for uh, uh, reporting, report for analysis purposes. So without wasting much of your time, let's go ahead and see how to install that. So uh, first, this is just an extension for Visual Studio. So uh, I will then install the Visual Studio 2019. And uh, if you don't know how to, please watch my previous video. And I will try to include it in my, uh, my description below. So to install SSS, you go to extensions, and then you click manage extensions. It retrieve some of the information and you can go back here um, and search for SSIS. So on the top right corner, you search for SSIS and then you're gonna get a nice um, uh, a nice project over here which says is uh, SQL Server Integration Services. And if you have installed, you're gonna see a green check. Uh, but for us here, we have installed. So we see this download button. To download, click download button. And I don't want to waste much of your time, so I'll just pause the video for now. So I just want to show you so what to expect. Um, it will open a browser, and uh, it will start downloading. I'm just going to close one of these, because I downloaded two of them. And I can see uh, it's downloading Microsoft Data Tools, and this is Integration Services. So again, I'll pause and I'll zoom my video once the file has been downloaded. It's about about it's about 400 megabytes. Nice. And it's almost done. So it's a couple of seconds. Five more seconds. And it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and open file. doesn't like that, I'm going to go open a folder. So if you go ahead and open your download folder or wherever you specified to save, so um, 
you go ahead and pick Delta Tools Integration Services, which is an installation. And you're going to see a bit asking you to choose the language so they can start installing. So the only thing you need to do here is to close Visual Studio completely and click OK. You don't need this and you don't need this. Click Next and over here you're going to have to choose where you would like to install your Visual Studio. So if this box is not checked, go ahead and check and click install. Yeah, this is there because uh, Visual Studio is still running in the background. So just wait for a bit and if you cannot get rid of this error, just go ahead and um, reboot your extension and start shut it down completely and then turn it on. Go back to your downloads and run the install file again. Yeah. I'm going to give it a minute. Once you install, it's going to ask you uh, if you like this app to make changes. Just go ahead and click yes. And then it will install. And I'm going to pause the video again, wait for it to finish. All right, so when the setup is completed, you'll get this message that all specified components have been installed successfully. Just go ahead and close it. And let's try to open Visual Studio again and see what we get. Okay, I'm going to say continue without code. So let's go back to extensions, manage extensions. And let's search for SSIS. Now you should be able to see a green check. This means SQL Server Integration Services have been has been installed successfully. So in this video, I, I was showing you guys how to install uh, integration services data tools. Thank you very much. Have a nice day.